Welcome back my YouTube family. I'm your instructor. My name is Rashid and today let me tell you about a cool place I found last week. The food super tasty but guess what? They were doing everything by hand. No computer stuff, just pen and paper. Just imagine I'm walking into this nice spot. Smells like delicious burgers. The menu is full of yummy things. The people working there are so nice but their way of doing things is a bit old fashioned. Writing orders by hand, doing math calculations on paper. Now here's the exciting part. This place is doing well but think about how much cooler if it could be with a bit computer help. That's where our story takes a turn. I thought let's use Excel like a computer tool and make things better for them. I made this. We will call it our food list, product ID, product name, category, description, price and size. But wait there's more. I made another sheet for their orders. Let's call it the order history. We have got order date, order number, payment type, subtotal discount and total now here's the plan we are making this hand done system into a computer one and more i'm having my this good looking invoice where i will be adding my orders deal one quantity is five and if i will press add it will transfer my data to my this sheet similarly if i have to add a new invoice then i will be clicking this new and this invoice will be ready for next transaction so basically this is the introduction of this powerful invoice point of sale system now let's get started and start building this complete project so now I'm going to open new Excel file control N. first of all I will save my this file from file save as browse this is my fast food quick order pro I'm saving this file on my desktop and the extension of the file will be this Excel macro enabled workbook make sure your extension must be this one Excel macro enabled workbook so I'm saving this file so this will be my product sheet and these are the headers of my product sheet product id product name category description price and size or portion i'm going to add the product details with reference to these headers so basically these are my products 87 products are in my this database so now i'm going to press ctrl a again ctrl a and under home i'm selecting this fill color to this white background one darker five percent then i'm going to click my this first row and i'm making 25 percent darker now i'm going to press my row number two and my row number three i'm copying it and i'm going to select from the row number four to the bottom of this data and i'm going to press ctrl alt v from my keyboard this dialog box will pop up and here i'm going to paste the format okay now i'm selecting my this header which is in row number one and i'm going to select the background color to this black and the text color to this white and i'm making this arial making this bold so my this product table is ready now i'm going to add more two sheets this will be my sales data and this will be my invoice and at the end this is my helping sheet so first of all i'm going to build my this invoice and later i will make the database to store my sales entries i'm selecting till my d column and i'm selecting this margin center this is the name of the fast food restaurant here i will be storing here i will be storing my date order number and type of payment right click on this column i'm selecting this column width and i'm making it 28 similarly i'm selecting b c and d and dragging it till here and now here i will be typing my item this is my price this is my quantity and this is my amount i'm selecting this one and auto hide ribbon this is my total sum and i'm selecting these cells similarly i'm copying pasting it here here i will be using the formula of multiplication is equal to i want to multiply this price with this quantity and i'm copying this formula till here so this is my subtotal this is my discount and this is my grand total this is my subtotal and in my subtotal i will subtract discount value for example this is my product abc and the price is 2500 and the quantity is 5 so now this is giving me 125 and for example this customer got the discount of 500 so the final amount will be 12000 so the formulas are working perfectly now i'm selecting all of these cells and i'm pressing ctrl 1 from my keyboard this dialog box will 
will pop up and from here I'm selecting this border and I'm selecting this dotted line and from here I'm selecting this gray color I'm going to insert this line in the center so it will give me the border on like this like this this and this okay now I'm going to this view section and I will remove the grid lines from here I'm selecting this one control B from my keyboard the font color to Arial. Similarly, I'm selecting this one, Control B, and the font color to Arial. Similarly, I'm selecting this one, Control B, and making it Arial. I'm selecting this one, Control B, Arial. Now, I'm going to this insert. From insert, I'm selecting this icon, and I'm selecting this burger. Select this one for this time. Insert, and I'm pasting it here. I'm selecting this one and the background color will be this black and the text color will be white. Now I'm selecting this one and control one from my keyboard and I'm selecting this line and making the outline. Okay. Similarly, I'm selecting this one and I will press F4 from my keyboard. It will repeat the previous task. So again, I'm selecting this one F4, this one F4, this one F4 and I'm selecting this area and pressing F4. Now I'm going to build my this database. Later, I will complete the rest pending things in our invoice. So I have to store my date, order number and type of payment. V for value and E for transpose. More I have to store this subtotal, discount, and total. I'm pressing Ctrl A and Ctrl A again, and I'm going to select this 5% darker. Now I'm going to select my this row number 2, and I will be selecting this 25% darker. And now I'm selecting row number 2 and row number 3. And selecting all of these rows, Control V and pressing T for my format. And I'm selecting my this header, background color to this black and text color to white, Arial, making it bold. So finally, my this sales database is ready. So this is my date, and here I will be typing today. Today is a Excel formula. I will press enter control 1 from my keyboard. I'm going to this number, this date and I'm selecting this one. Okay. And this is my order number. So here I want a auto generated order number here. So for this, I will be using the formula of max and I'm going to this sales data and I'm selecting this whole column and in this I will adding one. So right now here I'm having zero sales order. So that's why it is giving me the invoice number one or the order number one. When I will be having one order number here. Now it will giving me this order number two because it is adding one after getting the maximum number from that column. So right now the maximum number in this column is one. So here it will return me the order number two because the next invoice will be the order number two. This is my payment type. I'm going to this my helping sheet. So payment types are cash payment, debit card payment, credit card payment, online payment. So these are the types of payments. So now I'm going to this data. In data, I'm selecting this data validation and here I will be selecting this list. I'm selecting this icon and I'm going to this helping sheet and, and I'm selecting all of these payment types and I'm going to press this OK. So here I will select the payment type of the transaction. So here in my items, I have to display my all of items in the form of drop down list. So now I'm going to select this one and I'm going to this data and this data validation. And here I'm selecting my this list, selecting this icon and I'm going to visit my this product. So here I will be selecting this product section. I'm pressing this icon pressing OK. Now if I have to select my deal number one, so here I will be selecting this deal one. If I have to select my deal two, burger, this is Zinger burger. So now I can select my products from my this drop down list. Now I want to show the price of the selected item. So for this, I will be applying the formula of VLOOKUP. So here I'm typing VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP value will be in this cell comma and now I'm going to my this product and I'm selecting this B section and my price is in column number four. So I'm pressing comma four because my value is in column number four comma zero. So now if I will be selecting deal one, so the price of the deal one is 630. So here I will be applying if error at the last I will be pressing then make it empty. I'm copying this formula here. 
here I'm typing if error then make it empty I'm pasting this formula here and here I'm typing if this cell is equal to empty then make it empty otherwise this sum formula now here I'm going to apply if this cell is equal to empty then make it empty otherwise sum this if this is error then make it empty and similarly if this cell is equal to empty then make it empty otherwise sum it so from here I have to select my product for example deal 1 deal 3 and deal 6 and the quantity is 1 1 and 1 my this invoice is ready I'm going to this insert this is my shape under shape I'm selecting this one add new invoice control B control B make it center align shape format making this color and outline to no again I'm selecting this one and the color will be this one and outline no outline this shape format from align and align top now we have to record a macro and that macro must transfer the data of this invoice to this sales data table so for this first of all I'm going to my this helping sheet and here in my cell D2 I'm typing equal to and I have to transfer this date then this order number then this my payment type then this subtotal this discount and this grand total so I have to transfer these values to my database so now I'm going to visit my this developer tab but before this I'm selecting this option and show tabs and commands and under developer I'm going to record the macro and the name of the macro will be add data ok so now the recording of the macro is started so first I have to visit my this helping sheet and I have to select D2 and press shift control and down arrow key control C then I'm going to visit my this sales data first of all I'm selecting this G1 cell then I'm pressing control from my keyboard and I'm pressing down arrow key then on the right side then I'm pressing this upward then I will be selecting my this use relative reference make sure this option is checked then I will press one down arrow key and I will press Control alt V from here I will be selecting this value and this transpose and pressing ok and I'm going back on my this invoice sheet and I'm selecting my this date and then I will stop recording this macro so now I'm going to right click on it and I will assign macro and the macro is this add data ok so now if I will press this add and I will visit this data now you can see this is inserting my data automatically here now you can see it is giving me the order number 4 because the previous order in this database is order number 3 so the next order number must be 4 now I'm adding some more deals in it like I'm adding this burger this cheeseburger 2 and uh, pizza and the quantity is 3 so now I'm going to add to my database and I'm going to my this database now you can see my this order number 4 with the value of 6470 this is added successfully to the database if I'm adding a new sheet a new invoice the value of the invoice is 21,000 and I'm adding it going back to the database now you can see this invoice is also added here so this is working fine now I have to make some changes in the code so under this developer tab I'm selecting this visual basic and I'm double clicking on this module now at the beginning of this code I'm going to add this application dot screen updating is equal to false and I will make it true at the end of this code application dot screen updating true true and at the end I'm adding a message invoice data added into database so basically this is my message box now if I will press this add now 
this is giving me this message invoice data added into database more i have applied this screen updating function here the purpose of turning off the screen updating in vba is to improve code execution performance by preventing unnecessary screen refreshers providing a smoother and faster user experience during the execution of macros after applying that code if you will press on this add now this is giving very less screen refreshers as comparing to the previous code. Now we have to record a code that will make this invoice blank so we can add a new invoice. So for this I'm going to this developer under developer. I'm going to this record macro. This is my new invoice. Okay. And I'm going to select this and press delete from my keyboard. Similarly, I'm selecting this quantity and press delete from my keyboard. And I'm going to select this payment type and press delete from my keyboard because I have to select all of these things in my new invoice. So basically my purpose is completed. So now I'm going this developer and I will select this stop recording. Now I'm going to right click on it. Assign macro this new invoice okay now firstly i'm going to add invoice so if i have to record a new invoice then i will be selecting this new so it will give me a blank invoice so now i'm going to this developer tab this visual basics and i'm going to copy this code here and this code here and this is new invoice is ready Now if I will click new invoice, now this new invoice is ready. Now I'm going to select this page break preview. Make it 140. Similarly, I'm visiting this dim product and I'm selecting this page break preview. I'm making this 160. Similarly on my this sales data sheet, I'm selecting this page break preview and I will make it. So finally, are this simple, cool and well managed point of sale is ready.